kids, welcome to VeggieTales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry Boy. Uh, what's going on, Larry? <laughs> and I'm Alfred, Larry Boy's faithful butler. And we're here to answer your questions. Hey, wait a minute, that's my line. Don't worry, frail, helpless tomato. We've got everything under control. Frail? Help? Larry, what are you up to? Uh, do you even have a letter? Today we have a text message from Libby. A text message? It's the latest thing. Cool, huh? Guys, uh, that's enough now. Uh, can we just stick with the script? Please, sir, stand aside. We don't want innocent bystanders getting hurt. <laughs> ah! Our text message comes from Libby Forcucci from Stockbridge, Massachusetts. And Libby writes, Dear Larry Boy, I just love watching you help people escape fibs and rumors. Don't mention it, Libby. All part of being a superhero. But I've got something in my house I just can't escape. And now I need your help. I really love playing video games. Sometimes all I can think about is playing, even when I'm supposed to be doing my homework or cleaning up my room. I'll look over to that controller, and I can't help picking it up and playing. What should I do? Well, Libby, first of all, I'm really impressed that you were able to type out that really long message using those tiny little buttons. And secondly, it sounds like you're having a problem with temptation. Temptation? What's that? Well, simply put, temptation is the desire to have or do something that you know you should avoid, or the act of influencing by exciting hope. He means it's when you want to do something that you probably shouldn't do. Thank you, innocent bystander. <laughs> And it just so happens that we have prepared a story of adventure and mayhem that addresses this self-same dilemma. Uh, that means we have an exciting show that just might help you. Roll film. Remember, kid, with great chocolate comes great responsibility. when you eat too much chocolate. It's not a big deal, Alfred. Well, you're right. A little chocolate isn't a big deal. No worries, Alfred. See you back at the Larry Cave. Larry Boy, over and out. Ah. Rhubarb, reporting from Bumbleberg Park, where preparations are underway for the city's gala tricentennial celebration. But as the city gets ready to celebrate its 300th birthday, something very odd has been discovered which has authorities concerned. The statue of Bumbleberg's founder, Obadiah Bumbley, has been mysteriously wrapped in what appears to be a giant spider web. 
And one such concerned authority would be none other than the mayor of Bumbleburg herself, Mayor Blueberry. Oh, hello. I was not expecting you. Mayor Blueberry, do you expect this recent vandalism to have an impact on the upcoming celebration? Evans, no. Everything is organized and well under control. I'm not letting a few silly cobwebs get in the way of our 300th birthday. Hey! Try something a little more delicate. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we've got a great team here. <laughs> Rest assured that your Bumbleberg civil servants have everything under control. Thank you, Mayor. More as the story develops. This is Petunia Rhubarb, live at Bumbleberg Park. Well under control, indeed. Once I'm finished with them, I'll be the one in control. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Curly, you've returned. Come, tell me what you've learned. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to my Bananarama extravaganza. I'm your host, the Top Banana, and... Whoa, whoops! <laughs> it is it! I slipped on the old peel! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Here we go again! <laughs> oh, just got Whoa! 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 Master Letty, welcome back. I don't feel so good. Indeed. You do appear to be a bit pale. Excuse me. Yeah, I love this World Wide Web thing you got going. Very high tech. Oh, for the moment, it's only my Bumbleberg Wide Web. But be patient. First Bumbleberg, then the world. So, uh, what you got? Paralyzer beams, magnetic webbing, an army of little radioactive robot spiders? Silly one, that's not the way I operate. I'm temptation. I'll simply divide and conquer. No one can stand up to me on their own. Oh, yeah, right. Very smooth. Tell me then, what have you scouted out for me? Who's in charge? Which pillars need removal? Every town needs three key elements to operate. One, organization. You got Mayor Blueberry, the city's duly elected leader. She runs the city, keeps everything moving like a well-oiled machine. And her weakness? Vanity. She wants to be beautiful. Perfect. Two, communication. Meet Petunia Rhubarb, television news reporter. Bumblebug looks to her to find out what's going on. <laughs> If she's not on the air, folks might as well just read the newspaper. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I've got news for her. What's her secret weakness? Video games. She's good at them, too. And she'd be happy to play them all day long. Excellent. I think I might be able to arrange something. Tree protection. And that comes courtesy of Larry Boy. Superhero. There's nothing there. Actually, I'm still kind of working on that one, boss. <laughs> well, then kind of work a little harder. I need to know about their defender if we want to take him out. Meanwhile, I believe I'll pay a visit to her honor the mayor. I warned you, Master Laddie. This is the direct result of your overindulgence in chocolates. They give me energy. They also give you a bellyache and a sugar crash. Something evil is afoot in Bumbleberg, and you're going to need all your superhero faculties to battle it. I need to lie down. Got any super strength tummy seltzers? Ugh. How much chocolate did you eat? Too much. Excuse me. What you need, Master Larry, is to eschew chocolate. What's a shoe? Not much. What's a shoe with you? <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> oh, I jest. Actually, eschew means to avoid, to renounce, to give up. I can't give up chocolate. I love chocolate. Well, then I'll help you. 
You can't be the superhero God wants you to be if you continue this overindulgence. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe you're right, Alfred. What do we do? Well, we'll design a program together. A lot more exercise and a lot less chocolate. Knock, knock. Who's there? Just a pretty little apple with some time to spare. Open up. Apple who? A harmless little kitty with her eye on you. Open up that door and let me in. Don't you worry about those hairs on your chinny chin chin. I'm not preaching moderation. Knock, knock. What's your name? Temptation. Temptation. Look out! Temptation! No, no, Jean Claude, I'm extremely busy. I said, who let you in? I was hoping you would. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. A little faster now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Come on now. No pain, no gain. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. No energy. Me chocolate. To the bench press. Look, I'm very busy right now. I've got a million things to organize for the celebration. Why, that's exactly why I'm here. With everything you have to worry about, I thought you might need a little help with your outfit for the occasion. I'm a seamstress, you might say. What a fabulous cape. Look at those eyes and that lovely purple-blue complexion. With a little work, you could be a knockout. For sure, please. I'm not one of those vain blueberries who only thinks of her appearance. <laughs> a knockout? <laughs> Do you really think? Absolutely. Please come in. And you know, there's no harm in wanting to look your best. After all, you represent all of Bumbleburg. You owe it to your citizens to appear fabulous at all times. Well, I suppose. If you put it that way. <laughs> Oh, how lovely. That's amazing. It almost looks like you can walk right in. Oh, but you can. Go ahead. Walk right in. What a marvelous dress. I love the color. Is that crimson? It's more of a scarlet. <laughs> You've got it! You've got it! Four more! That's why I'm here. Two more. You need more oomph, Master Larry. Yeah, I'm really thirsty. No, no, more oomph. You need to give it everything you've got. A little help. Come on, Master Larry. Push. Ah. Well, Alfred, you're right. I am starting to feel better. Alfred? Knock, knock. Who's there? Just a friendly little apple with a game to share. Open up. Apple who? Just a simple little lovely with her eye on you. Open up that door and let me in. I don't care about your hairs on your chinny chin chin. I'm not preaching moderation. Knock, knock. What's your name? Temptation. Oh no! Temptation. Look out! Temptation! Hold on, Jerry. I'll be right with you. Okay, let's do some reporting. Oh, uh, can I help you? I hope so. Sometimes it's just so hard to help yourself. Huh? I have something you might be interested in. I'm sorry, but I'm on a deadline. Huge breaking story, Trice oh, and- bless your heart, you are the busy one. Don't you ever relax? Well, yeah. 
I play my handy pod. What if I told you I have the one and only test version of Handy Pod Advance? Handy Pod Advanced? Maybe I could come in and give you a demonstration? I don't know. I need to find out what's going on with the statue and who's responsible and... With Laser Cycle 4000. Laser Cycle 4000? Come on in. I'd love to. You know, it's so good to be able to take your mind off your work every now and again. You owe it to yourself. Well, yeah. That wouldn't be so bad, I guess. Oh, this is advanced. It looks like you can walk right in. Oh, but you can. Go ahead. Walk right in. Have fun. <laughs> you are one funny weatherman, Cliff. You're almost as goofy as Bill on sports. <laughs> I tell ya. Well, let's go live to Petunia Rhubarb with an update on the mysterious web around old Obadiah at Bubblyburg Park. Petunia? <laughs> Petunia? You, you there? Uh, we seem to be having a little uh, technical difficulty. Uh, back to you, you, Bill. No news is good news. Oh, Uncle Ephraim, you'd be so proud. Now, the only force standing between me and my conquest of Bumbleburg is Larry Boy. Not to worry, boss. I got the goods on him and that brainy butler of his. Two oids, bananas, and chocolate. Mmm, delicious. Master Letty, this is exceedingly interesting. What? What? Apparently, these mysterious webs are nothing new. It seems they've plagued the city of Bumbleburg in the past. When? How? Why? Unfortunately, my computer database doesn't contain such old information. I believe I'll have to make a trip to the Bumbleberg Historical Society to find out more. Oh no, I've gotta move fast. I'll be back shortly, Master Larry. Uh, meanwhile, I trust you won't give in to your <clears throat> temptation while I'm gone. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm stronger than temptation. I'm a superhero. <laughs> Some assistance? Well, you can tell Alfred that Larry Boy's a superhero and he doesn't need any help. Oh, oh, I see. Well, let me leave my card with you, just in case. Now, where did I put those? Maybe it's under the chocolate. Did you say chocolate? Yeah, right here under the chocolate. Well, I guess it won't hurt to have the opinion of another trainer. Uh, oh, wait. You need security clearance. Oh, well, I, um... Promise not to tell anybody about my secret cave? Cross my heart. All clear. Come on in. I'll be right up. I mean, Larry Boy will be right up. I thought you'd never ask. What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. Go ask the mayor. Where's the mayor? Where's Petunia? Ah, I've got to hurry. Nearly 300 years ago, a small band of valiant vegetables would embark on a ship they called the Cauliflower to settle an unknown land. Led by the fearless Obadiah Bumbley, they soon began establishing a primitive settlement in the wilderness of the New World. Today, we give thanks for our safe arrival on these beautiful and bountiful shores. Obadiah Bumbley. 
but it wasn't long before it became clear that something was rotten in the new settlement. Dearest Catherine, I am finding myself irresistibly drawn to a fascinating new establishment in town. It is called Appley's Funhouse. And boy, does it look like fun! <laughs> Abraham Roberts. Soon, chaos would reign in their little community. Before we get to your exercises, you don't mind if I have a little snack, do you? It gives me energy. Mm, something the matter, Dumpling? No, I just have this thing for chocolate, that's all. Oh, where are my manners? Care for a bite? Uh, uh, no, no thanks. I've been eating too much of it lately. Less chocolate, more exercise. Mm, wise plan. Oh, besides being so delicious, chocolate is also very interesting. Did you know chocolate was invented by the Mayans thousands of years ago? The Mayans, eh? Mm-hmm. Made from the beans of the cocoa tree. B -b 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 beans You know what I think would be fabulous? What if there was a museum of chocolate? You know, a place you could go to learn all about Beautiful it. Beautiful chocolate. Of course, you wouldn't have to eat any if you didn't want to. But what an education that would be. And becoming educated about food is an important part of any training program. Yeah, a museum. That'd be so educational. All work in the young settlement of Bumbleburg had come to a halt. The little town was about to fall into the hands of a single sinister citizen. Oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the chocolate room. Did you know that white chocolate contains no caffeine? Really? That sounds healthy. Go ahead. Just a teensy weensy taste won't hurt. Well, I suppose if it's educational. Oh, it certainly will be. Mmm. And yummy. Excellent. Now, try another one. Oh, uh, I don't think I should. I promised Alfred I would eschew chocolate. Oh, no, no, no. Chew them. You must compare the flavors to learn the differences. Right. Right. Educational. Chewing, chewing, <laughs> always <laughs> brewing. <laughs> Never stops until you're stewing. So much fun to go canoeing while your chocolate is accruing. All consuming, hair shampooing, all my victims fast subduing. Go ahead, take the plunge. Ah! Time to go swimming! The cause of all this chaos was Ephraim Apley, a bad apple who had come over on the cauliflower determined to take over the tiny town by distracting them with play. His plan was to enslave the community with non-stop fun. It was only the timely arrival of Obadiah Bumbley that saved the little community from ruin. Ephraim Apley, thou art a scourge upon the fair face of Bumbley Bird. Obadiah Bumbley. Oh, brother Obadiah, thou art so uptight. Prither, let the brethren play at the little checkers. Ephraim Apley. I have not against a bit of harmless amusement, Brother Ephraim. It is well and good to play as thou checkers on occasion. Citizens of Bumbleburg, I beseech ye, let us turn our backs on this rotten apple and his house of overindulgence. Thou hast tried to lead us into temptation, Brother Ephraim, but we shall not follow thee. Obadiah Bumbley. Oh, yeah? Says who? Say we! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be gone! Be gone! And thus, Ephraim Apley and his lineage would be forced from Bumbleburg, defeated in his plot to rule the little village. Oh, my! That apple! <laughs> Master Letty? Oh, what's happened to you? Oh, no. Uh, you've fallen into a web of chocolate temptation. Now, isn't that an awful shame? You! You're Apley! How did you get in here? Why, your superhero friend let me in, of course. Well, if he'd known what I know, he certainly never would have. And that's what they all say. 
but they always let me in. <laughs> I know all about you. <laughs> and of course, I know all about you too, Alfred. What? What are you doing? Alfred, poor Alfred. You've been working so hard doing all that tedious research in the library. Don't you think you deserve a little harmless amusement? Good evening, and welcome once again to my Bananarama extravaganza. Oh. Oh, oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to fall. Whoopsie, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> that gets me every time. Yes, the banana is a comic genius. And, of course, only the smartest, most tasteful people can appreciate his work. Indeed, ma'am. I've often harbored that very thought myself. <laughs> Ta-ta, boys. I've got a big surprise for Bumbley Bird. Now, great Uncle Ephraim, our time has come. Soon I'll control this town with that silly superhero and his butler out of the way. We need to move fast. And now to launch the final phase of my brilliant scheme. Bumbly Bird will be ours. Uh, yours, yours, I mean. Everyone will be in your power. <laughs> That's better. Wait till they see what I've got in store for them. I'll spin a monument to temptation so alluring that no citizen of Bumbleburg will be able to resist. All will enter, but none will ever come out. The perfect spot. Hey, but don't we need a construction crew? Now can we build a... Whoa, whoa! Whoa, mama! Up, come one, come all. You don't want to miss out on this fun and exciting opportunity. And whoopsie doozy, <laughs> I slipped on the old peel. Hurry, folks, come on down to Appley's Funhouse 2. That's right, Appley's Funhouse 2. Appley's Funhouse. Oh, no, I'm stuck fast. I need help. Uh, Master Laddie, uh, you must listen. Bumbleberg is in terrible danger. Uh, they are being led into temptation. Mm, chocolate. Uh, Laddie boy, uh, Bumbleberg needs a hero. Hero? I am that. I am that hero. Uh, oh, oh no! I've fallen into a web of chocolate temptation. Alfred, I can't get out of this mess by myself. I need your help. As do I, Master Letty. Throw me a line. I'll try. Oh, what do you know? The potassium phosphate in the sports elixir must have had an adverse chemical reaction with the triglyceride compound in this web, thus working like an acid. Ha! Interesting. Oh, the ump has oomph. I'm terribly sorry, Master Larry. I haven't been the butler you need me to be. No need to apologize, Alfred. I completely understand. But I need your help. It seems we need each other's help to get out of temptation. I don't know what happened. I just thought I need a little bit of chocolate. Uh, Master Larry, you cannot be the superhero God wants you to be if... If all I ever think about is chocolate. I, I know that now, Alfred. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Thanks for your help, buddy. And thank you for yours. But others are still in the grip of temptation. We must help free them or Bumbleberg will be doomed. <laughs> Skin deep. She needs help. <laughs> Master Laddie! You can't be the mayor God wants you to be if all you think about is how you look. That is true. Bumbleberg is in trouble. Oh, my goodness. 
Please, can you help me get out of here? You bet I can. Thank you so much, my friends. Our pleasure, Your Honor. Now we need to free Petunia. The city needs to learn the news. Ladies and gentlemen, Bumbly Burgers of all ages, the fabulous Apley's Funhouse 2 is open for business. Come on in and join the fun and frolic. We got the music. Whoever enters the Funhouse stays in the Funhouse. Apley's Funhouse 2, the round-the-clock funnest place in town. I didn't see anything about this on the news. Come to think of it, I haven't seen anything on the news. Petunia! I don't think I can hold him off much longer! I'm on the way! Help me! How do I get out of here? There's nothing wrong with playing video games, but you've let this video game play you! I know! I want out! Hold on! Let's find out what's going on out there. Master Larry! Jerry! <laughs> Come on, folks! Hurry, hurry, hurry! It's all happening on the inside! Nothing going on out here! Hey, who's that little worm? Apprehend him, Master Larry! He's working for the apple! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on in! <laughs> Officer! Arrest this worm! What's the charge? Accomplice to temptation with intent to lead astray, operating a giant Macintosh without a permit! What? You can't arrest me! And resisting arrest! None of us is strong enough to fight temptation on our own. It's apple picking time. Petunia, do your thing. You got it. Larry boy! Say no more. Okay, on me in three. Two. Petunia Rhubarb coming to you live from Bumbleburg Park. A huge, monstrous apple has been sighted here in the park. Authorities are cautioning the public not, I repeat, do not go near Apley's Funhouse. Turn away from temptation. It's a trap, believe me, I know. Repeat, flee temptation. What's happening? What are they doing? All right, bad apple, the jig is up. A day keeps the doctor away! <laughs> or oh, an apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You may be quick with the quips, but uh, an apple in the hand is worth three bushes. No? Uh, ah! I've got one shot to plug that web shooter. Uh, sorry. Whoa! Whoa! Your service. Here. I got gotcha you covered. All citizens are clear of the funhouse. All right, everyone. I'll get over 
appetite, Bumbly, if it's the last thing I do! gathered here today to commemorate this 300th anniversary of the founding of our great city of Bumblebird. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you our founding father, Obadiah Bumbley. Yeah. Now we also have someone else to thank for delivering our town from this terrible evil. And that, of course, is our city's great superhero, Larry Boy! Why, thank you, dear, but I can't take the credit. Temptation is too strong for any one of us to handle alone. We need God's help and the help of the people around us, our friends and our family. Well put, Master Larry. You can always call on me when you need help. And as a token of our appreciation, it is my pleasure to present you, in honor of Bumbleberg's 300th birthday, this magnificent 300 pound chocolate birthday cake. Help! I'll save you a piece, a small one. All right, everyone. Go see Alfred about some cake. <laughs> Well, Libby, I hope you liked the show, and I hope you learned something from it. I know I did. Well? What are you doing? Uh, I'm a superhero, too. Bob, it takes more than a costume to be a... No, 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 not Bob. I'm the Red Wonder. Uh, or Bobbin, uh, but I'm leaning toward Red Wonder. Uh, I have a theme song. And so what we learn applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. Wow. Catchy. Oh, wait, uh, that's not it. Oh, you let see, me... we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a look. No, 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 I had it all worked out. Ah, uh, shall we see if QWERTY has a verse for us today? Yeah, fast. <laughs> Keep alert and pray. Otherwise, temptation will overpower you. For though the spirit is willing enough, the body is weak. Matthew 26, 41. So you see, Libby, you need to ask God to help you with the things that keep you from being the kid he wants you to be. Letty boy had a weakness for chocolate. That's why I needed the help of the good friends that God gave me to keep chocolate from getting the best of me. I fear video games might have a similar effect on our friend Libby. Yep, there's nothing wrong with playing video games once in a while, but when they keep you from doing your homework or from helping your mom and dad around the house, they're keeping you from being the kid that God wants you to be. You might want to ask your parents for some help with ideas on how to avoid the temptation of that ever-present video controller, or chocolate, or whatever. Great idea, Alfred. Well, the extent of our scheduled period together has once again drawn to a close. That means that's all the time we have for today, kids. Thanks, Red Wonder. Just remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Goodbye! Hey, Red Wonder, let me show you how to do a theme song. Once I'm finished with them, I'll be the one in control. <laughs> Not so fast, Bad Apple. First Bumblyberg, then the world. It's apple picking time. An ordinary citizen by day. Changing suits when danger comes our way. Our vigilant defender and our friend Protecting us from villains to the end
Alfred! Come in, Alfred! We've gotta hurry! When trouble brings the city to its knees, everyone in Bombleyburg agrees. Light the signal, rise and sound the call, and Larry Boy will come. trouble, I'll be there. Whenever a helpless vegetable calls out, I will answer. Evildoers, beware! You are no match for the awesome power of Larry Boy and his super suction Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales.